What is up YouTube, my name is John and today I will be reacting to Kindred Spirits by Arch Matthews from their album Winter Eat The Real. Now this has been requested on my Patreon by Organic Mechanic, so thank you man so much. And Arch Matthews is an American progressive metal band and it began as a re reunion between founding Fates Warning members John Arch and Jim Matthews. So uh, there is that and also Bobby Yard Zombek or Jar Zombek is drumming on this one and I really liked his drumming on the previous songs that I reacted to from Fates Warning and I believe there was maybe one more song that I reacted to that he drummed in. Maybe I'm uh, wrong right now but that doesn't matter. We're going to check out Kindred Spirits from the album Winter at the Real. And yeah, I don't really know what to expect but I know for a fact that this is at least going to have an amazing instrumental part. So let's begin. Here we go. Three, two, one, and now. Oh god, okay, 30 minutes. I didn't even see that. Vocals sound amazing, man. Didn't expect that. Mr. John Arch has really great voice. Getting a bit of Camelot vibes for some reason. That riff. Okay, one thing is for sure, these guys know how to build up into a song. That drum feels tight as hell. the fez I had actually Oh lovely symbol work from Bobby Yeah. 
interesting merge of riffs and vocals right here. Harmonies on point. really feeling in selling those high notes. <laughs> oh, the public base, man, too good. Crazy! 
Ooh, nice vocal play right there. I love the play from the vocals, man. It's so good. Layers right here. True that, my man. True that. It's never easy to say goodbye. Especially when the song is so awesome. <laughs> you know? Alright, so that was Kindred Spirits by Arch Matthias or Arc Matthias. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce the singer's name, and I'm extremely sorry if I've been pronouncing it wrong the whole time. So, yeah, feel free to send me a virtual slap on my face because I am just that dumb sometimes. But yeah, that was Kindred Spirits by Arch Matthias or Arc Matthias, the band, American progressive metal band, and oh boy. You know, before I started this song, I didn't actually look at the at the time, you know, at the length of the song, and just as soon as I started recording this, and I saw it's like 30 minutes, and I was like, okay, well, this is going to be a right. And I was definitely right about that, because this was a freaking right. I really love how in the very first part of the song, they did such a good job in building into that, you know, into the main part of the song, into the, let's say, heavier part of the song, because they started off really, like, really slow, really, you know, let's just add up stuff, you know, as it goes, guitars, drums, vocals, everything, and then they basically ended up the song on a really, you know, beautiful note, stripped out, you know, all the drums, and, you know, all the heavier stuff from the song, heavy riffs and you know they just relied on these really beautiful guitar effects and awesome amazing amazing vocals gotta say that the vocalist name yeah it's actually John Arch or Ark again extremely sorry about butchering your uh, second name but yeah his vocals as I said before gave me a really really strong uh, Michael or Mikael Kiske from Halloween and Unisonic Vibes. That guy is one of the, dare I say, one of the biggest legends in power metal when it comes to vocals. 
and vocalists. Because goddamn it, that, that guy has some pipes, and I believe this guy is very, very close to him when it comes to, you know, to technique and stuff like that. You know, he really likes to play with his vocals, you know, do these little, as I call them, the vocal roller coasters. You know, that da da dee da 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 in a, like, a, like a really, in a, like a really fast fashion, but it still sounds really musical and very fitting and very emotional, you know. This guy has the technique down, has an amazing voice, amazing range, he really felt at home in those high notes and it did not feel forced, you know, sometimes when some singers do these higher registers, it feels maybe a little bit forced sometimes, but not with this guy. This guy, John Arch or Ark, did an amazing job on this, throughout this whole song and I really, really enjoyed his vocals. The same thing can be said about uh, Bobby Jarzombek on drums or Jarzombek. God damn it, this guy just does not leave, you know, any any deaf places in the song, any you know empty spaces when it comes to drumming. His his fills and even his beats are always, you know, full of small details. You know, he really likes to work with his symbols. In a different way, you know, he just, you you might think, you know, he just goes to play, you know, crash, uh, snare and the bass drum, but he just add, adds so much more into just one simple pattern, you know, he plays with more symbols at the same time and just the patterns get so much more fresh and interesting that way and it just works, man, especially when, when this song's when this song goes like full on progressive, some of these parts with, you know, that don't sound like they're in 4-4. I'm not actually good on time signatures, to, so don't ask me about that, alright, I'm really not that good with that, but, you know, those really proggy parts in this song that just, there, it just really, really shines the most there, his drumming. Excellent stuff, and you know, it's all done very tastefully again very musically it's not overplayed sometimes you know people tend to overplay some songs especially when it's you know a more extreme genre not this time bobby he just knows what and when to play you know he just has it in him and joey vera on bass guitar did an amazing job as well the bass was bubbling you can really hear it well throughout the whole song and, you know, there was this one part where you could hear it really well, where it really stood out. I really liked that. But, you know, throughout the whole song, gotta say, the production, the sound, everything sounded really, really freaking clear. I could hear everything, you know, every time I was like, okay, so a few, for a few seconds right here, I'm going to focus on the bass. And I could just hear it, no problem. I didn't really have to like extremely focus on the bass part. I could just hear it, it was there and it was very, you know, very audible, very hearable. And obviously amazing guitar work. That guitar solo, man, that guitar solo was soaring and soaring. And also the riffs, both heavy and, you know, some of those cleaner, you know, tones, some of those cleaner passages. In this song or all of it was very creative very fresh and it did not get boring for one second you know this song just kept on changing changing and I can see that some people might actually not like that because you know it's progressive metal stuff is changing all the time and you know some people might not like the the vocals because they are really you know high register oriented or somehow I will put it like that yeah Higher register oriented, god damn it, English, woo, what is it? <laughs> Alright, but I hope you know what I mean, and yeah, this band, they definitely know what they're doing, they've been active since 2010 and are still active, they just released this album named Winter Ethereal, and god damn it, a 13 minute song, hell to the yeah, I enjoyed every freaking minute, so thank you so much Organic Mechanic for requesting this one. This was a ton of fun. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed my reaction to Kindred Spirits. 
from Arch, Ark, Matthias, and from their album A Winter Ethereum, and it was 13 minutes of pure musical awesomeness. So thank you again so much, Organic Mechanic, for requesting this song. It was, as I said before, a ton of fun. And you guys, if you enjoyed my reaction, consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff, because as you know, there is always more videos coming your way. And if you feel like talking to me outside of YouTube, there are links to my social medias down in the description below this video as well as a link where you can directly support my channel and what I do here either via PayPal or on Patreon. So guys again thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. So have a nice day, evening, night or whatever you have right now. Cheers!